And then she says, well, the taxation of trade routes to outlying star systems is in dispute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when Padme was a badass queen to be reckoned with? And then she got with Anakin, gave up her career, and suddenly she literally could not exist without a man telling her what to do. So she died. Uh-oh. What, did I go too far? No, I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror, and then were suddenly silenced. I fear something terrible has happened. Today, on, on Good, Good Day, Day Death, Death Star. Star. Welcome back to Good Day Death Star. I'm Grand Moff Bob. Proma is still probably dead. We don't know. Leslie Nielsen has been captured and fed to a rancor, so now we have a new anchor, Trisha Crimmins, who hopefully won't also take out our entire crew with a lightsaber after we made fun of her name, Leslie Nielsen. Just don't call me Shirley. <laughs> well done. First up, we have Lord Patch Intukas with the weather. Patch, why don't you give us the lowdown on the school closures on Hoth? Sure thing, Bobbo. Hoth is still the reigning champ of cold in the galaxy at 50 degrees below. Patch, has weather ever dropped below 50 in Hoth before? The issue isn't how cold it is, the issue is how warm it is. Hoth is usually closer to 75 below this time of year. What can we expect as far as school closures on Hoth this week? It's the moment every kid on Hoth has been waiting for, Trisha. School closures on Hoth. Ba 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 ba. Ba. School closures. School closures on Hoth. School's closed because of snow. There's so much snow here on Hoth. Do there are so many school closures because the weather has gone too warm. No one says that it's global warming, although we all know that it's global warming on Hoth. Thank you, Lord Patch. Hope you make it back safely from Hoth. And now, musings by R2-D2. Next up, we have a local stormtrooper, Vinard Lideclaw. Welcome, Vinard. Tell us, what do you do here on the space station that is definitely not a Death Star? Hi, Bob. Thanks for having me. I currently work in the intelligence sector, guarding the innermost facilities of the base. Really? Vinard, is that where Kylo Ren's lair is? I... I'm sorry, I can't say. Vinard, there was a shocking expose in the Death Star Times that outlined some pretty startling statistics. The most startling stat is the one where it says, uh, no stormtrooper has successfully hit a living target in almost 50 years. Is that accurate? Yeah, a uh, little known fact. The most important skill in a first order stormtrooper is not their shooting accuracy, it's their lack of original dialect. It's crucial we all sound the same. Like, when I was stationed in Arcanus. Oh, the one with the Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> yeah, the one with the Dunkin'. And the first order runs on Dunkin', right? For real, bro. Uh, caught some of that dialect in there. What, are you from Boston? Ah, uh, what gave it away, the hat? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Vinard, are you saying the stormtroopers don't know how to shoot? Oh, uh, <clears throat> we can shoot. Uh, just not well at all. That's amazing. What? Why? No reason. What are you doing? Are you text are you sending an i message to the resistance? What? No. What's an i message? I have a droid. You're spying on the first order. Yes, Grand Moff Bob. Sorry to say my allegiance is with the resistance. And now that they know the stormtroopers can't hit a thing, you can expect our fleet to be here imminently. Not if I have anything to say about it. God. Man, you guys really do suck. Oh, what? Why do all my co-hosts get freaking lightsabers? And that's it for Good Day Death Star. McClunky!